The Charlotte Hornets travel down to Orlando to take on the Magic. That's going to be a 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off down there in sunny Florida. The Orlando Magic open the betting as the three-point favorite in the total at 215. And since those markets open this one up, not a whole lot of movement when it comes to the spread or the total. We've seen a little move upward when it comes to the over and under. That moved up half a point to 215 and a hook. But once again, Orlando open three. They remain minus three. Total open 215, up to 215 and a half. 60% are leaning Orlando, 63% shaded toward the over. And at the moment, Charlotte is plus 140 for some money line cash. Now, when it comes to the injury report, Tony Parker is doubtful for the Hornets tonight. Meanwhile, on the Orlando side, Mo Bamba still out with that injury. And, uh... Well, when it comes to Orlando, they've still been pretty good against the number despite Mo Bamba being out. They covered six out of their last seven games, six and one ATS in their last seven. They also ranked seventh in the NBA in points allowed. Nikola Vucevic is scoring 22 points per contest, 13 rebounds. Aaron Gordon also uh, 19 points a game, eight rebounds for the Magic. Now, when it comes to the Hornets, they failed to cover in their previous two games, taking on Orlando. Charlotte's also just 5-9 and nine against the spread, taking on teams between 450 and 550. When it comes to the scoring, Orlando is 70% to the over in their games at the current posted total. Charlotte is 16-12 and 12 to the over in their games on the road. Give me the Orlando Magic, minus 3. In the over 215 and a half in that game there. All right, folks, welcome to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Thursday's NBA and college basketball action. But before we go ahead and move on, I just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the show. Got some uh, lines and personal leans once again for uh, Thursday's NBA and college basketball action. I also want to quickly remind you to check me out at my website at patreon.com slash Brock page. We've had a very good, very strong run in the past couple of weeks. Uh, I want you to check out my current record on that website right now. It's a part of the free content. Uh, memberships begin at just $1.99 per month for that website. And like I said, there's plenty of free content there as well, including my uh, current record. So once again, please just uh, hit that pause button right now, open up your browser and type in patreon.com slash Brock page. It'll only take you a couple of seconds. The link is in the description section below. And if you are a current patron of mine and you're currently watching me right now, I simply cannot thank you enough. You most certainly make it all worth it. With all that said and done, let's go ahead and hop right back into some more lines and personal leans. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Knicks. Hawks, 730 tip-off in Atlanta. The Hawks are minus 7, totals 224. 74% of the consensus is leaning toward Atlanta. 80% is shaded toward the over. And at the moment, the Knicks are plus 240 for some money line cash. Now, Moutier is still out indefinitely. No surprises there for the Knicks. Uh, Tilakina is also uh, still out for the Knicks as well. Both players are still uh, listed out indefinitely. Now, on the Atlanta side, uh, Kevin Herter is hurt. He's hurting. Kevin Herter is questionable with an ankle injury, so we'll have to see if he plays tonight. Uh, but regardless, Atlanta still very, very bad against the number. Uh, they failed to cover in five out of their last six at home. They're just 8-17 and 17 against the spread on their home court this year. Atlanta ranks dead last in points allowed. And they also rank 25th in home defensive field goal percentage. Now the Knicks on the other side, they're championed by Dennis Smith Jr., who is averaging 19 points per contest this year. Kevin Knox is also dropping 18 a game. And the, uh, the New York Knicks are 11-7 and seven against the spread in their games that tipped off at the current number. Now scoring-wise, the Knicks are 7-2 to the over in their games at the current posted total. Atlanta is also 64% to the over in that same category. So with all that in mind, I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me the Knicks plus seven in the over 224 in that matchup there. All right, next and final game for our NBA slate. It is going to be OKC at New Orleans. Eight o'clock tip off in New Orleans. 
OKC's minus three and a half, totals 237. 75% are leaning OKC, 71% shaded toward the under. And at the moment, the Pelicans are plus 160 at home. Now we have Schroeder and Grant listed out for OKC tonight. And on the Pels side of things, Alfred Payton is questionable there as well. Now the Pelicans are just 3-7 and seven straight up in their last 10. They're also just 2-4 and four against the number in their last 6 at home. Uh, the Pelicans rank 27th in points allowed in the NBA. They're covering just 33% of their games. That tipped off at the current number. Now, OKC's 11-2 against the spread in their games at the current number themselves. Paul George is dropping 29 points per contest thus far. When it comes to the totals, OKC is 62% to the under in their games when traveling. New Orleans 5-2 to the under in their last seven. Give me the thunder. OKC minus three after buying the half a point in the under 237 in that matchup there. All right, let's go ahead and slide into some college basketball. And our first game is going to be Illinois at Ohio State. 7 o'clock tip-off at the Buckeyes. Ohio State opened the betting as the 8.5-point favorite. Total at 142 and a hook. Now, we haven't seen a whole lot of movement when it comes to the total. We're still at that original opening number. But we are seeing a half-a-point fade of the Buckeyes in the early going here. They moved down to minus 8. So once again, the Buckeyes open 8.5, down the minus 8. Total open and remains at 142.5. 59% are leaning Ohio State, 51% shaded toward the under. Now the Buckeyes rank 30th in college basketball in points allowed. That's pretty good. They've been uh, excellent uh, on the defensive side of things. They're also 16-7 and seven straight up overall for the year. Uh, Ohio State's 2-1 and one against the spread in their couple of games that tipped off at the current number. And they are led by Caleb Wesson, averaging nine, uh, 17 points per contest. Once again, they are led by Caleb Wesson, dropping 17 points per contest. Now, on the Illinois side of things, they're just 9-15 and 15 straight up overall for the year. They're also 10-14 and 14 ATS in that same category. The Fighting Illini ranked 229th in offensive rebounding, 206th in defensive rebounding, and they rank 211th in points allowed in the nation. Now, total-wise, Illinois is 7-2 to the over in their last nine. Once again, Illinois 7-2 to the over in their last nine. Ohio State 11-4 to the over in their last 15 at home. Give me the Buckeyes minus eight after buying the half a point and the over 142.5 in that game there. Next matchup, Houston at Connecticut, 7 o'clock tip-off at UConn. The Cougars of Houston opened the betting as the 7.5-point favorite, total at 140. And since that one opened up, uh, once again, not a whole lot of movement on the total. We're seeing good two-way action there. So we're right at that original opening number of 140. Uh, we are seeing Houston take a little bit of money on the road here, just a half a point move in their favor. So once again, Houston opened 7.5. They're now minus 8. Total open and remains at 140. 60% are leaning Houston. 54% shaded toward the over. Uh, for the UConn side of things, Al Tariq Gilbert is questionable for tonight's action. Uh, not so sure we're going to see him uh, in the game, but regardless, UConn is still 13-2 and two straight up on their home court. They're 11-4 against the spread in that same category. Uh, UConn has successfully covered the number in five out of their last six. They're also 7-2 against the spread in their last nine. And they're led by Christian Vital, who's dropping 17 points per contest. Now, the Cougars on the other side, they rank 101st in defensive rebounding, 162nd in field goal percentage, and they failed to cover in three out of their last six, taking on teams between 500 and 650. That's a win percentage there. So once again, Houston has failed to cover the spread in three out of their last six, taking on teams between 500 and 650. Now, total-wise, Houston is 3-2 and two to the over in their last five. UConn, 4-4 four four to the over in their last eight. Give me the Huskies as the home dog getting the job done here. Give me UConn plus eight and the over 140 in that matchup there. All right, next and final game for the show, it is going to be Gonzaga at Loyola Marymount. 11 o'clock uh, tip-off at Loyola. 
Now the Bulldogs of Gonzaga opened the betting as the 19-point favorite. Total open at 140. 